News tonight, the FDA has authorized Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use. It is the second COVID-19 vaccine to earn this authorization behind Pfizer's. The FDA found no severe allergic reactions in Moderna's data, but flagged a slightly higher rate of less serious side effects, including rash, hives, and itching. Now, in the weeks and months leading up to this moment, some people took part in Moderna's vaccine trial. That includes people right here in Knoxville. Tonight, WAT6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown caught up with one couple about that experience and what the vaccine means for them. It feels like a sigh of relief that something good is happening. A sigh of relief. A shot of hope, the light at the end of the tunnel. We've heard all the ways people are describing the COVID-19 vaccine. Ken and Shirley Saroyce have been a part of the research process for six months now, volunteering themselves to participate in the Moderna vaccine trial. We first spoke to them in November, just a few months after they received vaccines. Since the last time we spoke, we've been to uh, a follow-up appointment for blood work, um, and we've had periodic uh, uh, e-diaries reporting, you know, how we were. We, we've been fine, no symptoms and no, um, no health issues at all. Ken and Shirley will still be a part of the trial until 2022, but they took the first steps before anything was certain. I feel good about it. And I'm glad we did. I'm glad that this, the serum has come out much faster than I ever thought it would. Since the approval and distribution of the Pfizer vaccine, medical professionals across the country and here in Knoxville are also taking those first steps. The Saroises hope those images and their participation in the Moderna trial will encourage those who are skeptical to give the vaccine a chance. I think there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they just don't want to get it. They want to see how people are going to fear that do have it. When Ken and Shirley started the trial this summer, there were no vaccines, just hope. I'm hoping that by summertime, things will be kind of, I don't know if they'll ever go back to normal normal, but I'm hoping that things will go back to a semblance of normalcy. And with a second vaccine now on the way, it seems those hopes might become reality. In Knoxville, Jordan Brown, WATE, six on your side. Jordan, thank you. State health officials expect the first shipment of the Moderna vaccine as soon as next week. Now, that means we could see 115,000 doses starting on the 21st. After that, the Department of Health says the vaccine will have been shipped to all 95 county health departments, as well as small hospitals that did not receive the Pfizer vaccine. Remember, the first vaccines our state gets will be given to health care workers and first responders, along with residents and staff at long-term care facilities. The state says there are around 450,000 Tennesseans that fall into that bracket. Meanwhile, the Pfizer vaccine continuing to be administered to frontline health care workers today. You are looking at videos sent into the WAT6 on your side newsroom by Tenova. And we told you yesterday some hospitals expect these first vaccinations to continue into the weekend.